I've always um, operated like an artist, even as a child, a young child. Um, I had a studio table in my bedroom at 10 years old, and I had, it was set up just about the way this studio is, with a music source and all my materials and my favorite artists around and books and things like that. Um, I drew, I didn't paint uh, at that age, but I operated pretty much the way I operate today, so it seemed to be a very natural thing. I didn't really think about being an artist or whether that was possible. I probably thought I had to do some career, um, be in business or something or another, uh, to make a living as a child and a teenager. But I've always done this, and um, you know, it's just a, a great need and a great satisfaction for me. I like the activity. I like um, being in the studio and just looking at the work and sort of entering my own mind or something like that and responding to work. And I did it at quite a young age. Um, I remember in second grade, the, the teacher sort of knew I was an artist and used that as motivation, had paper in the back of the room that I could use if I completed the assignment. Uh, and so I, I was always sort of the kid who who was the who was the artist and I'm not all that social which works with being an artist I mean you're by yourself in your studio a lot and that's just a natural it's just natural for me something I love doing paintings a uh, a need of mine and I find it's when I'm painting when I'm actually engaged in painting it's one of the most optimistic times of my life um, I'm always convinced in the act of painting that the painting is going to be great, that, the, that I'm doing a fantastic, maybe the best painting I've ever made. Uh, every single day I think that. And then later, the, I guess the critical faculties come back to you after the painting process the next day and you realize what you've done and, and that it needs to be redone. But uh, the excitement of that optimism when you're engaged in it is... Um, uh, great need. It's addictive. I'll, I'll describe the whole process. I mean, I come in and spend a lot of time thinking about what I'm going to do. First of all, uh, looking at other, looking at other art, looking at what I did yesterday, looking at, uh, and begin to conceive of, of the day's work. Um, almost all of my work uh, involves. Uh, direct observation. So whatever it is that I'm working on, a space or a person, I'll have that set up and ready, uh, ready, for, me to, ready for me to go. I work from direct observation, and then a large part of my work is done after the fact of bringing it in here, putting it up on the wall, sitting back from it, <clears throat> meditating on the work. Giving yourself over to experience, to the accident of experience, to the um, uh, surprise of experience. Um, I couldn't do without that. Uh, I, I find that seeing something, the edge of someone's head against another color, surprises me every single time I see it. And it's different every single time I see it. It's not something I could pull out of my head or formularize in any way. And that's a, that's a, a key and... Um, also a source of excitement to me. Before I start painting, I'll uh, mix a lot of color. Um, I just have habitual mixtures that I go to, but I, I, I mix out a palette every day to, to work from. Um, and uh, so that's part of the process, set that up uh, and, and uh, get, it, get it in place. It's, it's a really slow process in that I'll revise day after day what I've done, pretty much repainting it, um, pretty much just painting over what I, what I did uh, completely. Um, but in response to the image, there was something that excited me about the image, and I'll have that to build on. And I think it builds a kind of density or um, 
there's something about the long worked paintings that I think is better, more compelling, more powerful than a very brief work or something that's more study-like uh, or that's a really a spontaneous one-shot uh, sort of work. You know, painting is a process of optimism and I'm always convinced that I know exactly what I want to do the next day. Uh, I'll see how bad it was uh, the day before and uh, so I love sanding a painting down, scraping it down, and reattacking it. And um, it's all very straightforward and direct, as if I was starting over again. I'll start with a, a kind of drawing, a kind of transparent, thin drawing in an earth color, and immediately go to using color uh, with the brushes and working fairly, fairly opaquely um, on, on the painting. Um, even after the painting has been worked for six months, I'll approach it in this way. And the, the unity is what I'm trying to preserve, that first powerful um, impulse or emotional response to something which I'd call the unity of the work is what I oftentimes feel is absent and I'm trying to drive towards and keep in the work or find if I, if I haven't found it. When I was an undergraduate and began looking at painting and wanting to make paintings, uh, I was very attracted to Vermeer and de Hoek. And I think uh, de Hoek's um, subject of thresholds of moving from one space of light to another uh, impressed me as a subject and just made a very powerful impression on me. Um, the magic in Vermeer of the life of a single object against a wall and how powerfully expressive it could be stayed with me. The few dreams I've had about painting are um, entering Vermeer paintings and moving through them. And um, there's just something about the walls and the light and the way something will stand in front of the walls. So the big challenges are to continuing, uh, I think, at this point in, in, in my life, and it's sort of physical vitality, I think, is, is uh, the challenge, the physical vitality to continue doing it and uh, to, to, stay, to stay with it. Um, there's a moment in a painting that doesn't happen often enough where the unity of the work comes together in a powerful expression very, very quickly when a work completes itself. Most of my painting, I feel, is not complete or lacking most of the time, but every now and then something happens and it doesn't have anything to do with how long I work on it. It can happen very, very quickly um, in, in a work and that's a, a, a really thrilling moment when I can see something appear uh, in, in the work and it seems to, uh, it seems to make a unity, and by, by unity I mean an expressive whole, uh, and that, that seems to come together in the, that seems to come together in the work, and that's uh, thrilling when it happens. I'd like to see people continue to learn drawing and to be exposed to drawing and painting, uh, the great drawing and painting of the past. I'd like to see that continue to be a part of the education of the artist. <clears throat> so I would say art is a uh, communication of the interior life in the form of a physical object, uh, kind of communication from one person to another, I guess, of the interior life that can't be made visible in another way. It's just different than a verbal communication. 